Welcome guys to another video of your chapter 1 set. In this video we're gonna do the introduction of exercise 1.3 and the topics that are related to exercise 1.3. So the first topic that comes is your subset. Okay, what exactly is subset? Let us do with an example. Suppose I say let A is equal to AB and B is equal to ABC. If you can see in these two examples, um, the set A and set B, the similarity between them is that whatever elements is there in set A is inside set B or not. See, A, B is inside B. So I can set it A. Alright, this sign, it indicates nothing more than your subset. Okay, so as a definition, you can say that a set A is said to be a subset of set B if every element of A is also an element of B. And we define subset by with this sign. Alright, so let me just say another example. Suppose I say one more example. Mm, A is equal to A, B and B is equal to uh, A, D, E. Can you say A is a subset of B? See, A, B. There is A but there is no B. Yes or no? So in this sign will be A is not a subset of B. I hope you're clear. All right. Uh, in this subset, come there are some important points which comes under note. The first point is, uh, suppose I say that A is a subset of B, and if A belongs to A, this sign it means implies. Okay. Implies your A should also belongs to B. All right. Then comes point number two. Your point number two is uh, if A is a subset of B and B is a subset of A. This sign is known as your if and only if. Okay, where both you got error. In short, if and only if is also denoted as this one, I double F. So if and only if A is equal to B. That's your point number two and then comes your point number three your point number three is nothing more than uh, every set is a subset of itself so in order to be a subset I said that every element should belong inside another element right so same thing with goes over here every set is a subset of itself suppose a is equal to 1 2 so I can say that A is a subset of A. That is 1 2 subset of again 1 2. I guess you are clear with point number 3. Then comes point number 4. Your point number 4 is again very much important. Phi, that's an empty set, is a subset of every set. Do you remember this one again? Okay? Point number for that your phi that's your empty set is a subset of every set i hope you're clear again till there okay now the comes the point number five it's uh, it will be if a is a subset of b and a not equal to b i'm going to repeat one again if a is a subset of b and a is not equal to b then your A is called a proper set. Proper set of B. I hope you're clear. Till there. And your B is nothing more than your super set. Clear? Pause the video and check once again. Alright, let us do question number one of exercise 1.3. The first question is given to be make correct statement by filling in the symbols 
subset or not a subset in a blank space. The first one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. If you can see, this one is inside this one. So it means this is a subset. Number two, A, B, C, B, C, D. B, C is there, but A is not there. So that means it's not a subset. I hope you're clear. Next comes, come. X is a student of class 11 of your school and X is a student of your school. So in short, a class 11, that means you guys, right, are also a student of your school or not. So it means this is inside your school. So this will be your subset. Yeah, number four is given x is circle in the plane, x is circle in the same plane with radius one unit. This one, if I have, if I say, suppose this is the circle with radius one unit, and it's given a circle in the plane. This this circle can be anything like this also, right? So in short, this is not a subset. Why? Because this circle is not inside the small circle, which is of radius one unit. I hope you're clear. Then comes number five. X is a triangle in a plane. X is a rectangle in a plane. So a triangle and a rectangle doesn't meet, so it's not a subset. Then comes X is an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle means all the three triangles are, so all the three sides are equal. And X is a triangle in the same plane. Your equilateral triangle can be a triangle in the same plane or not, so this would be a subset. Lastly, X is an even natural number and X is an integer. Your even natural number is an integer only so that will be a subset pause the video check once again all right the next topic is about your interval as a subset of r this is a very important topic okay so it's given that i'm going to teach you in a very easy manner so please bear with me it's given that let a comma b belongs to r and a less than b then the closed interval closed interval is defined with square bracket okay? and if you can see in closed interval there is an equal to sign Whereas an open interval, an open interval is defined as your round bracket. In open interval, there is no equal to sign. So that's the difference. Okay, remember close interval, close bracket, that's your square bracket, and open interval, round bracket. And the difference is in close interval, there is an equal to sign. In open interval, there is no equal to sign. So next comes your right half open interval. So if you can see in A, I got an equal to sign, that's why square bracket, and in B, I don't have, that's why round bracket. Similarly, left half open interval. In B, I got a equal to sign, so that's why a square bracket. In A, I don't have an equal to sign. And always there's assuming x between A and B, between two numbers. Okay, pause the video and check once again. All right, let's do question number six. In question number six given, write the following as interval. The first one is given to be x. x belongs to r minus 4 less than x less than equal to 6. Remember, there is an equal sign over here, so the first one will be a round bracket, 4, minus 4, and the next one will be a square bracket. Why? Because there is an equal to sign. I hope you're clear. Similarly, if I do for number 2, it's given to be x. x belongs to r, minus 12, less than x, less than minus 10. In both minus 12 and minus 10, there is no equal to, so it means it will be a round bracket. I guess you are clear till there. Alright, in a similar manner, let us do question number 7. Your question number 7 is given to be, write the following interval in set builder form. Okay, so let's do number 1. It's given to be minus 3, comma, 0. Now if you can see both are in what bracket? Round bracket. So that will be x such that x belongs to r just like the previous one comma minus 3 less than x less than 0 so that's all about your set builder from okay let me just do jump to question number 4 is given minus 23 comma 5 and it's a round bracket if you can look up here the first one is nothing more than your square bracket so that will be x x belongs to real number comma minus 23 less than equal to x and in 5 there we got here in open bracket so that will be less than 5 so this is how we're going to do in set builder form the next topic is about your power set it's given that the set of all subset of a given set a is called the power set of a denoted by p of a so what do you mean by this is this one suppose i say a is equal to a comma b 
then the subset of A can you tell me what will be the subset of A as we can see over in the first part of the video that I have mentioned the first one will be phi that's empty set and empty set is always your subset of any set yes or no then comes the singleton the first one happens to be a b this is also a subset of a then comes both a comma b is a subset of a so according to power set is given the set of all subset so in short the power set of a would be nothing more than the set of all the subset so that's nothing more than your power set of a okay now this one we can prove mathematically also if we can look over here the number of elements of a how many elements are there two yes or no your power set of a is nothing more than two to the power two which happens to be four if you can count the power set of a how much got one two three four i'm gonna answer four right so mathematically You know, mathematically it will be if number of elements set happens to be m then number of elements of power set happens to be to the power m so that's all about your power set all right the next topic comes universal set uh, universal set in simple terms i would say depends upon the equation whatever you are dealing with okay uh, do remember universal set is denoted nothing more than capital U so suppose I say um, 1 2 3 4 5 6 suppose I say this one set A is equal to and I ask you to write the universal set so universal set would be any natural number less than 7 so that will be your universal set all right so let us try to learn more about the universal set okay let me just do a question number eight so that it will be easy for us all right question eight is given uh, what universal set would you uh, propose for each of the following Number one is given the set of right triangles. What is given the set of right triangles? Okay, right triangles. I can say uh, for this the universal set U would be nothing more than uh, the set of all triangles. Why the set of all triangles? Because a right triangle is also inside triangles only. Yes or no? Same thing with the example that I've given. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is inside natural number less than 7. That's why universal set happens to be this one. Same thing, the set of right triangles means universal set will be the set of all triangles or the set of polygons. I hope you know what is a polygon okay that's your number one okay, number two number two is given uh, the set of isosceles triangle I want you to answer this one on the comment section remember this is different than the right triangles okay so let me see what's the answer lies all right let's do question number four exercise 1.3 is given write down all the subset of the following set number one is given to be a by the way Whenever you got a set containing only one element, it's known as your singleton set, okay? Don't forget that. Containing only one element is nothing more than your singleton set. Okay, the question says, write down the subset of this one. So, the subset of A, always remember, whenever subset comes, the first thing that will come will be, fine, empty set. And I got only one element, so it will be... Clear. Let me do question number three. Your question number three is given to be one, two, three. So the subset of one, two, three are the first one is always empty, then comes a singleton. 
one, two, three. Now pair them up. So it will be one, two, two, three, one, three. Remember, you cannot continue the same number again and again, right? The same element. So I got one, two, two, three, one, three. I cannot write right on here again two, one. Okay, because you cannot continue the same element again and again. And the lastly, it will be all the elements. So that's your all about your question number four subset. All right, question number five is given. How many elements has P of A? That means power set of A if A is equal to five. Five means empty set. So there is no element, right? So uh, mathematically, we know from the power set that uh, if N of A happens to be M, so number of power set of A would be how much? To the power M or not, according to the power set. So here, your A happens to be 5. So number of elements of A, I think is there, that means it will be 0. So therefore, number of elements of P of A would be 2 to the power 0. 2 to the power 0 is how much? 1. So therefore, P of A has 1 element. Pause the video and check once again.